And also developing this morning, a crew from the Florida Department of Agriculture continues their investigation into the Orlando Freefall Ride. This is video from yesterday as they kept a very close eye on the seats of the ride as it went up and down. Fox 35's Nestor Model joins us live at Icon Park this morning. And Nestor, it could be months, though, before this investigation is over and we know exactly what caused this horrific accident. That's right, but the ride's owner tells us that they're working with every state agency at all levels to try to figure out what happened. Of course, this morning, the inspection will continue. This, as Tyree's family says, they're launching an investigation of their own. We've actually seen forensic investigators here at the Orlando Free Fall, like you mentioned yesterday as well. The attorney representing Tyree's family says they have their own investigation looking at the ride as well. They're even interviewing people who were on it themselves. Since the accident, there have been questions about the ride's weight limit or if it should have had better restraints. Well, Florida Commissioner of Agriculture, Nikki Fried, of course, her agency is investigating, said many of these things are actually up to the makers of the ride. There are rides that are in throughout the entire state that do have weight limits. And it is up to, unfortunately, this is, again, things that we're going to be looking into as we go through this investigation. Well, the state says that last year there were 175 injuries reported in rides across the state of Florida. This year there have been nine injuries reported in Orange County alone. Tyree Sampson, the only death. I'm live in Orlando. Mr. Mato, Fox 35 News.